Yo, what's up guys? It's your man Royal. I am coming at you guys with another video. Just like you said in the title, we're talking about your top five dumbbell exercises all for your triceps. Remember, triceps are gonna be two thirds of your arm. If you wanna make sure that you got massive arms, if you wanna make sure you got the biggest arms in the gym, you gotta make sure you're hitting your triceps. I got five different exercises coming up for you guys. Make sure you are adding these for their own workout, for your triceps, or incorporating them when you're making sure that you're hitting your chest, your shoulders, and you gotta hit those triceps anyways. Let's kick it off with the first one, dumbbell tricep press. I already got my 40s right here. We're about to grab them and we're gonna knock these out for you guys, right? So picking them up, make sure, making sure that you're sitting down on the bench, right? Nice big chest, you're leaning back. <clears throat> dumbbells are up in the air. Bringing those dumbbells down, pushing all the way up. Squeeze your tricep, boom, one. A lot of times when people are doing these, they don't squeeze their triceps when they get to the top. When you lock those arms out and you squeeze those triceps, it's gonna have a crazy impact on the definition and the toning and the sculpting of your arms. All the way down, nice and easy, push it up. Squeeze, all the way down, nice and easy, push it up. Squeeze, last one, all the way down, push up, squeeze, good. This is very similar to a bench press, right? Or to a dumbbell chest press, but this is not. You gotta make sure that when you're doing those, you're keeping it on the outside of your chest. Don't activate your chest when you're doing these. You gotta squeeze your triceps. Next exercise, we're gonna be going to some dumbbell tricep kickbacks. You can do these a bunch of different ways. You can do them single arm, you can do them double arm, you can do them alternating. We're just gonna be doing these at the same time. You feel me? Same position that we were in, dumbbells are going up. <clears throat> Feet are on the ground, bending them down towards your face. Not in front of your face, go beside your head. Pushing all the way back up, squeeze your triceps. Boom, one. Bringing them down, bringing them down, bringing them down, and pushing up again. Squeeze your triceps again, two. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Pushing up, squeeze. Three. Let's work these out. Four. Five. Six. Seven, just like that. Bring it down to our knees. Sitting all the way up. Nice and easy, all right? Just like that, guys. Like I said, you wanna make sure that when you're doing those, Every time you're doing any type of exercise, you gotta make sure you're feeling it in the muscle. If it's in your chest, make sure you're squeezing your chest muscles. If it's in your triceps, make sure you're squeezing your triceps. If it's in your biceps, make sure you're squeezing your biceps. Whatever exercise you're doing, always make sure you're feeling it in the muscle, not never in the joint either. Sometimes when people are doing those, if you're feeling it in your elbow, there's some adjustments that we need to make. There's some modifications that we need to make. It could be the weight's too heavy. It could be your elbows are out of position, or it could be three, that you have some type of injury that's going on with your elbow that you need to be mindful of, all right? Next one, we're still going back to the dumbbells. Again, you could do this exercise with one dumbbell or even two. I'm gonna only do it with one this time, just to give you guys some variation. Using one dumbbell, we have overhead dumbbell tricep extension. So, grabbing this dumbbell, bring it overhead. We've all done these before, right? Coming down, push it up, squeeze, one, coming down, two. Sometimes you can do this with the bench that I'm on now, or you can even do this one when you have support, where it's more like a chair, right? And you're leaning back on the chair. Bunch of different ways we can do this exercise. But again, the key is always making sure that you're squeezing your triceps, all right? All right guys, coming up with exercise number four now, we're going to our dumbbell tricep kickbacks. One dumbbell in each hand, right? We're leaning over, make sure you keep your abs tight. Your back should be straight when you're doing these. Elbows are gonna be up at your side. You got a nice big chest. Pushing these dumbbells straight back. Boom, one, squeezing your tricep. So, two, three, four. Great exercise, you don't have to use heavy dumbbells for these, five. To get really good activation in your triceps while you're doing this exercise. <clears throat> Man, those are a tricep killer, especially when you're doing those correctly. You can do those in a bunch of different ways as well. You can do those neutral grip like I was doing them here. You can even do those overhand, right? Here, overhand. As well, you can do those the hardest way is gonna be underhand. You have three different ways that you can do those tricep kickbacks. Our last exercise, 
We've been doing everything on the flat bench now, okay? I am going to replace this now with the incline bench. You guys ready, set? And just like that, guys, we have our incline bench and we're gonna be going to our dumbbell tricep extension for our fifth and our last dumbbell tricep exercise, okay? I'm gonna still do these with the 40s. We gotta remember that this is gonna be a little bit harder and more weight and pressure on the triceps because you are gonna be at an incline, all right? So let's grab these dumbbells and let's get to it. Same position, you wanna make sure you bring these to your knees. As always, guys, make sure you're squeezing your triceps when you're doing this exercise. So, right leg, left leg, pressing the dumbbells up, right? Make sure you're sitting, core is tight, head is back and down. Bending those triceps down, pushing it up, squeeze. One, coming down, pushing up, squeeze. Two, again, you're going beside your face. Don't go in front of your face. Three, just in case you get tired and you gotta let the dumbbell go, you're gonna smash your face. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nice and easy, nice and easy, guys. All right, woo! My triceps are definitely feeling a little pump from those. You can see right now some definition in those triceps. Nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Always make sure you guys do yourself a service and check the description down below. I always got free eBooks. I'm always trying to help you guys out as much as I can. So make sure you guys check it down below as well. Hit that subscribe button. If you watch this video all the way to the end, you gotta make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well. Hit the like button, share this with a buddy so that you guys can be on the same page and you guys can make sure you're hitting your triceps like you should, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's your man, Royal. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.